Porto in Portugal for a four hour layover. We may or may not be eating some Burger King and maybe like a five, almost five hour layover. We are off to Madeira. Look how big these night like, hopes are. We, yeah, we should have just got one, this is ridiculous. Uh, also, my eyes are so dry from our last flight, and it was a small flight with like two seats and two seats, which I thought was going to be terrifying. But it was, it was great. Right. It was alright. It was fun. It was just all right. It's 8 30. We're losing the world to live yet. I am actually. Me too. This is a tiny bit long. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but I've got my laptop. I'm watching some YouTube. It's still a bit long. Championship managers, I'm going to plan. Or Mike wants to do it all about championship manager. So it's good. Tell me if I got it wrong, but you don't want to be. I've 100% be. lost Mike to a football manager. Football manager's not even cool, you realise that, right? Yeah, it's, cool. it's not cool. No one plays it, especially on their phone. You need me, I know if you let go. night but honestly after like as soon as we got on that second flight I was so tired we've been up quite early yesterday so I think that was why I just like just traveling generally my eyes were dry from sitting on that flight we got our car rental and then we're actually staying at one of our friends house this year Mike's parents do have a house here but it's just not really very practical because they're coming as well so we are actually staying at our friend's house we've never been here like we had not well we had an idea of where we we're going because we found it but we weren't sure where we we're going we didn't have an address because she lives in like a, a row of houses that are all quite similar so it's kind of touch and go as whether it was the right one but we are here now it also means i'm not gonna vlog her house too much because obviously it's not my parents house um we are going to my parents house in like two weeks and then i'll probably vlog a little bit of our house but to be honest again it's still my parents house not my house also look at the view I feel like the, you know, these like wires, can't really cool, kind of spoil it a little bit. But basically everywhere in Madeira, apart from Coral de Freitas, has a sea view. This is quite nice one, I think. Morning, Mike. Morning. Where are we off to? Oh, I think we need a book. We need a trolley. Well, that gives us a clue as to where we're off to. <laughs> That's where we're off to. Yeah. You want to show everyone our space stuff? This is our, um, our car rental. That's it's a... Mitsubishi space, so we actually quite like it, it's not too bad. We're basically just here for like water, not much else, but the runway, I'm going to show you the runway actually, it's pretty cool. That's the runway to the airport and we just saw some planes take off. Maybe when we come out there might be some planes, I'll show you. And then this here is called the Ilhas Desertas, so there's a deserted island. What are you doing now Mike? I'm waiting for my steak sandwich egg. Am I just like on the side of the beach? Oh yeah, that too. Yeah. Also, Mike pointed out that he's wearing a New York Yankees hat, and I've got a friend's hat. So we definitely look American. Mike and I are now home. We are just chilling. I was really grumpy at the beach, so we um, I didn't vlog very much you look because grumpy. yeah, because I think I had low blood sugar. Because as soon as I had like a bit of chocolate, I feel a little bit better. Although my head is still a bit sore. I don't know. Maybe could it be hay fever? No. I think it could be hay fever. Um, but we are having slight issues with power i feel like if we don't live in a big city it happens all the time because our house in portugal we always have like issues with power um but i need to have a shower and it it might be a cold one been mia because we had the electricians come around so we were dealing with that it wasn't that bad but it's fully fixed um and i'm in like a really lovely outfit it's from thanks h&m um, oh mike's wearing the same as me basically that we're both wearing what do you call it? Tropical. <laughs> Tropical stuff, which is so cringe. Um, but we're gonna get some food. I've just shot a campaign, which is why so I've been MIA. The sky looks like cotton candy. The sky is just incredible. Um, but I forgot my camera, which is really bloody annoying. And it's like 9.30, we still haven't had food. Do we even know where we're going to eat? No. But what do you fancy? Okay, um, uh, fish peas. Two peas of bloody fish. Tell us about this restaurant. It is a place where they sell fresh fish that they catch from there every day. That's the don't even catch, you see that. And you get to choose what kind of fish you want. What do we go for? We went for something called espada, which is black scabbard. 
Okay. So like my fish knowledge. I don't know what the other two are. What are they in Portuguese? Pargo. One is called Dourada. Okay. What's Dourada? Is it sea bass? It must be a bit like a basic one. Pargo is super expensive. What is? Pargo. That's why, that's why you're I know, I know. So in Portugal, the fish is coming to put their heads on. So it hasn't got any more eyeballs. Oh, no, it has got an eyeball. That is actually an eyeball. Morning. So this morning we are off to shoot an outfit. I haven't worn like a, a one-armed top in age or an ace in angel in ages. An asymmetrical top, but um, it doesn't look very nice now. But once I stand up, it's a bit nicer. We are off to shoot a skirt. Ah! Oh, if you can see it, you're turning and it's like dragging you. Sorry. Um, it's pretty damn tight, I can't lie. I should have got a 12 and I got a 10. Um, but it's beautiful, I actually quite like this outfit. I'm quite feeling my makeup tied up my hair, uh, but we're not sure where we're going, because obviously, well actually I don't know if, it's, if this is obvious, it's obvious. We come to Madeira all the time, like once a year pretty much. Um, but we've never stayed in this area, so it's a little trickier. My nose, but I look really diva-ish. We have shot a few photos. I'm going to include a few. And this is the outfit I'm wearing. Oh, hold on, I'm going sideways if I do that. Uh, this top is Oasis. Um, skirt is Oasis. And then my shoes are Primark, which I really like. But I feel like they should have been navy for this outfit. But because I'm on, I don't own navy shoes anyway. And then my bag is new, and it's from Shoeaholics, and I really like it. Oh, the skirt is tight. Thanks, Mike. I mean, why right. do I even bother talking to him? Hi. I was just seeing something. You were just laughing at your phone. It was funny. We came for lunch now because I am starving. We came here previously with two of our friends, Sandra and Adam. Mike, you look really excited for this food. I'm tired. Oh, you wait. let me sleep. I did. I didn't even wake yeah. you today. You woke up with your hair dryer. Yeah. Apparently, hair dryers are a really good noise to seep through. No, they're definitely not. <laughs> wait for what? I think you always seem grumpy in my videos. Sorry, here's my office. I'm about to have food. So we got carne aglio. It actually looks a bit gross if I'm honest, but I think it'll taste alright. I might got people with the carne. Can we share? We're at the beach, but Mike's currently making me walk away from the car. And we had dinner as well because apparently we haven't done enough steps, which is probably true. I thought like we both already fed up with like eating out too much, so we've agreed that tomorrow we're gonna to make some lunch at home. Actually we're going to Mike's cousin's house for dinner. Which I'm very, very much looking forward to. More so to see them than for dinner, to be fair. But it'll also be nice to have some home cooked dinner. But um, also, it's the lunar eclipse, is that what it's called? Yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing that later today. Mike, where's, yeah. where's the lunar eclipse and the moon? Just there, show them. I Somewhere can't see behind it. those clouds. Just not there. It's behind the clouds. Sorry. Apparently, in London, it's even worse. Is it? Apparently, it's raining. Yeah, apparently, really heavy, heavy rain. And like, they just can't see anything either. We might still, apparently it lasts like three hours. So maybe later. I'm having to put on socks and a pair of Converse because Mike's making me walk to get up our 10,000 steps. Um, and I can't walk in my new sliders, which are from m and are 25 pounds. And I really, really like. Are they the ones that I had to go and exchange because they're in the wrong size? Yeah, it took me like so two hours. I find the sliders come out really small. So I always have to go up to a size seven in anything that I haven't got back. Then you're justifying this because you're, you're also making me go get ice cream. So this sounds kind of Why are you telling everyone that? Sounds kind of intuitive. We're all going to the gym tomorrow, that's how we're paying it back. How's the ice cream? Very good. One of the best I've ever had. The moon just, actually, I don't know if you can even see it in the camera, it's just there. Can you see it? Mm, no, no you can. I think you can just see it like. There's it on Mike's phone. It's a little bit underwhelmed. Oh, everybody's it? good morning. It has been a few days since I since my last vlog because we've just kind of been doing family stuff, so it hasn't really worked out. Oh, are you tired? Oh, Explain to everyone why you're tired and why I'm tired, more importantly. No, I'm tired. It's you letting a mosquito into our room yesterday, and it kept me up all night because it was trying to kill me. I'm tired because if Mike can't sleep, then I'm not allowed to sleep. Oh, yeah. And he made such a bloody racket. Yeah. That's the worst. And um, we are actually off to see the priest. We are not getting married. 
Um, but we have to go see the priest for, um, for our godson's baptism. I thought I'd vlog the last couple of days. We're here, today's Thursday. We're here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we leave at 7 a.m. on Monday. So I thought I'd get a few more extra days of vlogging in. We're going to, where are we going again? The peak. Peak of the Radiator, mm -hmm. which is my favorite place in the world. And cover you down. Okay. We've come to this place where they like make wicker baskets. Some of them are so, so beautiful. Look at this one, this is my personal favorite, I think. I wish we could pack these, but I just don't have that sort of space. How much is it? Oh my God, it's, it's under 30 euros. And it's so nice, all handmade here as well. My outfit, my shoes are MS, so I love them. I've been wearing them loads. And then my bag's Carvella, and then this is um, a Primark play suit, which I absolutely love. It's so fun. It's fun, Mike, in it. Oh, God. Who's, I'm not allowed to pull clothes, fun, apparently. No. <laughs> Literally, all the wicker needs. They even have pink ones up there. They've literally got like a giant boat, furniture, animals, and these baskets look wicked as well. And chairs. And chairs. It does said furniture. Just go downstairs to the fabrique. Sorry? So here's the guys making it. We're on our way home, but our sat nav took us down this road. Show them where normal level would be. How do I do that? Maybe uh, like, oh yeah, I think that would probably be normal level. And then that's like what we're looking down at. Although the road kind of has straightened out, but it was scary on the way down. Ah, These are like proper back roads, by the way. I thought it looked a bit crap. It's a two-way road, and we just can't see the road right now. Like, is it there? Is it? Is it? Oh, I hope yeah. the answer is fucking yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> There's a big pothole, can you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay, this is a bit scary. I think I might have to stop filming. It's quite nice to like not be on the motorway because we always get the motorway home. I say, I'm terrified out of my, don't know what, mind, yeah. Uh, we're going to go home and do fun stuff like take the washing out of the washing machine. Maybe we could go towards your, your side of it. Take the washing out the washing machine and stuff like that before we're gonna go before we're gonna leave again. Something stutter, can you tell I'm a bit nervous? I think. This is a two-way road, babe. Like where would we go? I think we've got changed, so I want to take some pictures. Does anyone else wear their dress like this for as long as they can? So it has got a sleeve. But like, the sleeve's a bit restricting, so if I can, especially like in the car and stuff, I just don't wear my sleeve. And now where are we, Mike? Uh Christ Ray in Kenisu. Which is? Which is the statue of Christ. It was like a budget version of the Lisbon one. Lisbon? Mm-hmm. Is it the Brazil one that's a budget version of? Oh yeah, there is one in Lisbon. Bra Brazil. And Brazil. But the Brazil one I think is like the main one. The main one. one. It's pretty windy so we have no idea if you can hear me. But this view is epic. That's Funchal I believe. Is that Funchal? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't think it, but I've actually coloured my hair twice today. It's just so windy that it's an absolute mess. Sorry? You alright? Yeah, alright. Oh wait, also, here's Jesus. There he is. So Mike and I are now off to that place. I said we were going to go, which is my favourite place. I need to get changed on my babe. Oh, what's to give you directions? Um, it's, we're 26 minutes away, but it's quite a... Uh, Quite an interesting route up because we go through the clouds usually, but I'll show you whilst we go. We're going. Oh, now we can't see it. There's like a little white ball up there somewhere. That's where we're heading to. It's there. Can we see it? Breaking the trees now. We're going up there. We've got 10 minutes left. Yeah. I couldn't tell you what it feels like But I sure think you do Reached peak of the Oh, I got changed just in the back of the car as well I forgot to say that because I want to get some other pictures up here This is my favourite place So I'm very excited
I just spotted that there's houses down there. It's crazy. Yeah, apparently we've been there. Yeah, it's not that amazing from down there. I don't really like Corolla's flavor. It seems a bit boring. It's a bit underwhelming. But from here it's cool. How's that sandwich? It was a bit crap, wasn't it? Where's the next stop? Uh, cover you down, please. Got changed for the fourth time today. It's a bit much, it seems. I'm probably gonna get back into my neck, my last outfit. But we are at Mike's favourite place, which covers you down. Let's take a couple pictures before it closes. It closes at seven. So it's quite sunny, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any nice pictures. I'm gonna be washed out. Going live. What do you mean? Well, I want to get off my f and do that. Because otherwise, it looks like I'm just on my phone the whole time. You are just on your phone. Look at that. <laughs> you are Hello, just on your darling. phone all the time. I'm mean, including that just so you know. I'm not, not. I am. Um, I'm well, back. Go. <laughs> Look. I'm Edit it out. I'm back. I'm going to make it. Oh my god, I'm not going to make it. I'm back right, in. This is out now. I <laughs> tricked me. I'm back in my second out of four outfits. Does that make sense? I don't even know. I'm pretty damn tired. I don't know why. I think because we went to the gym yesterday. Yeah. Some games. You can see why my shirt keeps bulking Oh, yeah, out. that's why it keeps bulking out. Um, anyway, put your, your skinny arms away. And um, we're now going to dinner with Mike's two cousins. I can't put my arm on the window, so I just can't look cool. <laughs> we're going to go get some chicken. We're just waiting. Um, and I'm tired. I hold it here, they just can't see. Um, Sabrina does this really annoying thing when she records me. She cuts out my hair, so it looks like I've got no hair. Wow. Okay, we're getting silly now. I'm tired. So Sabrina goes. Are you hungry? Because I'm not even hungry. Two dad jokes. Bad dad jokes. Oh, that... are you hungry? Because I'm not even hungry. Yeah, hungry. We've eaten so much drunk today. Mike, what have we eaten today? We have Don't Filipinos. Lie. A whole pack between the two of us. Are these really good biscuits? Stop cutting out my hair. I'm sorry, but then I have to get my double chin. Okay, what else? Um, we had uh, those Cheeto footballs, which are really good. Um, and we had those like little fried, what are they called? In, soy. No, but what are they like, there was a Spanish name for them. Empanadas. Oh yeah, they were so uh, good. They're not empanadas. That's pretty not much what we've had though, right? And my arm's hurting now. We've done so much today. Good morning, it is Friday. I'm off to get my nails done because this bag, which I love, has basically stained my white nails red. Having issues with my car, with the rental car, so Mike's trying to sort that out. I think I'm getting a bit sick as well, my throat's a bit croaky. I just spat everywhere. I also don't know where I'm going. Oh, okay, I need to work this out. Nails done, I'm now off to meet Mike, who's apparently had our car fixed, fingers crossed. This is like such a beautiful place to come, but they're a bit pushy, so I wouldn't like recommend coming here to buy stuff, just to come and look. And maybe try some stuff, but it's so outrageously expensive. I'm totally already eating my lunch. I've got to video it. We've got a salad. What did you get? An Oreo milkshake. How is uh, it? Not Oreo. In the bun. We've got a little Oreo cheesecake, which is very good. Took some pictures as well. Good morning! It is our penultimate, basically our penultimate. We actually go home in like two days, but um, but we go home, we leave at like 7 a.m. So basically today is our penultimate day, and we're actually going around the island with Mike's family. So I don't know how much I'll vlog, but hopefully we'll vlog a little bit. We've actually temporarily ditched them because they were taking a little bit long to leave the house, and um, we're going to cover you down, which I think I went to in this vlog. But two days ago, I'm not sure. I may have cut this vlog into two pieces. Who knows? Um, we're going back up there, and I just want to get some breakfast and a coffee. So, um, 
we're going to meet them up there. Um, it's a fairly nice day. Um, and oh, we also have to buy a card for that doesn't try with that. We've been looking, we just haven't found one. So today we absolutely have to find one. Talk to me. Hi. We're back here again. Covers you down. <laughs> where it's a bit cloudy as you can see. Do you think you'd like to be a documentary voiceover person? I would actually. But only if I could do funny accents. Why are you smirking so hard? It's awesome to do a funny accent. What are you going to do? Go. No, because a lot of people understand what I'm saying. We are now waiting for breakfast. What did you get, babe? I got uh, a frangle and... Oh, look, they're paragliding. You can't see behind the trees. I just see trees. Well, they were paragliding, I swear. Here's like a nice white. Yeah, cool. What do you have? To eat really quickly because Mike's family are already here. What do you have? I got egg and bacon, but Portuguese bacon is not very good. What did you have? Not really bacon. What's chicken and onion? It's weird. So you just parked our car, Mike. What happened last time we parked here? Basically. We went for a little coffee, it was like 10, 11, come back to the car park and it was closed, couldn't get in and we're like 30 miles away from home. Closes at a nine. You can see the sign. How did we get out? I can't remember. We had to call someone. Someone came. It was ridiculous, it was so bad. It was really annoying. Mike, dance, go, go. Yeah. Go. That's all. I don't even know what you're doing, you're like <laughs> stepping back. Nothing else. Now the issue with sightseeing with our family is that our family don't really know the sightseeing. Yeah. And um, currently we're, we're waiting outside a shoe shop. They don't know how to sightsee just as you don't know how to record without putting my hair cut out. It's because this lens is like... Is that, are you happy? Mike, we should, we should show us your lobster stomach whilst no, we wait. No, we shouldn't. Come on. I'm showing that to the world. We actually just came with two of us, but everyone asked to meet us here, they just went to get coffee. And I think this is the most beautiful part of Madeira, so I'm going to show you a few little clips. It's quite busy today, but I just think it's wicked. These are like natural pools, so obviously like, the seawater goes over into the pools, and it's just a fun time. There's actually people like properly in the sea as well. Doing a tour of Madeira's cafes today. Oh, and shoe shops. We um, we stopped to for drinks because my chub rub is hurting, and it's very hot. I got a juice. What did you get? No, the chub rub is my chub rub. Usually it's fine, but today it's hurting. How crazy these tunnels are! They're like the old ones. You rarely get to go through them nowadays. Rally car was like, oh. No, 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 no. We're driving on the road. Okay, good. We knew that the rally started today. We don't know where the rally is taking place. All I hear, I'm in a tunnel. All I hear is. No, you saw one first. Driving though. towards me. And I'm thinking, oh shit, am I in the actual rally? What the hell's going on? There's a rally car driving towards me. <laughs> oh gosh. But I think this is the finished. They're going yeah. to their Base. garage. So it is four in the morning, I look dreadful. I've done a really bad job of removing my mascara, but Mike and I are leaving Madeira. We're off to mainland Portugal. Um, we had a lovely time. We actually had a, a baptism christening yesterday, which was lovely, lovely, although I did fall in, in church. 
with everyone watching, which is nice. And then also I did get my heel stuck in a drain and it basically got shredded. Didn't break, but still. But still we had a lovely time. I am very fortunate that I love Mike's family. So um, that's always really nice, but I'm very excited to see my family. And I really hope you like this vlog. I'm gonna start a new one about Portugal, uh, about like mainland Portugal. Portugal. Um, sorry, I look so dreadful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Say bye, Mike. Bye. -bye. Thanks, guys.